What is good? What is good? What a do YouTube? It's your boy Jillinator here. <sighs> I have fucked up once again. And instead of you guys being with me as I game, you can be with me as I react to my gaming. I I, I messed up mic situations, you know, it happens all the time. But, you know, we got gaming content. Just not voice content. So we can fix that easy. And this is it. You know what I'm saying? Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, not a very long video. I didn't get much into it for real. I wasn't really feeling the record and all that much. So, you know. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get straight into this one. And definitely tell me how y'all feel about the mic quality. Because I have a new mic here. And I like this mic. This mic is a... Uh, it's really nice. It clips onto the desk, all of that. Lights up at the bottom. I, I fucks with it. I fucks with the mic. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, I didn't know how I felt about the old quality. I didn't have no problems with it. I don't know if it, I didn't see no complaints. I like see anything, but you know, could always be complaints that people just don't like the voice. You know what I'm saying? Off the gate, we we had went to that little cannon place for real. The place, not the cannon place, the uh, the park, the place that we had got shot out. Of, the cannon shoots us out of, shoots us out too. Cause I definitely remember us doing that. Nah, I remember I hit the flip here and just short. Just short. It would look so much smoother and cooler if it was just straight in. It's all good. Peanut Park. The Wilted Sunflowers. Now, this mission took me a couple seconds to really get down and understand. And you'll see that here in a minute. Hold on, let me get this off the screen. Oh, I need to. That looks much better. But like, yeah, this mission took me a minute to figure out. Like, I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing for a second. Like, you'll see me jump around. Just attacking eggs. I didn't even walk far enough to get the prompt either. Egg just hatched on the beach. I think you gotta walk closer to the big sunflower. I have no idea. Do you get a prompt here? I thought you got a prompt if you walk close enough. Maybe it's a different mission I'm thinking of. But I tried a lot and then I accidentally did that. And that's what made me figure this out. You feel me? But my problem was figuring out how to kill them after that. And then he gave me a solution. Easy. Easy. Stops to get stop for the scene because he looks better. And they do that with all of them. That's what kind of annoys me. Like, all of them didn't need a scene for that. See? I got hit more times than I thought I did. Damn! Tried to flip into it and fucked up. And then we missed the attack there. Health is getting low, people. There it is. It's another kill. And another sunflower looking better. Oh yeah, I went back to try and find the uh, coins. It took too long to get the other two, but you know, we got one. You know what I'm saying? Anything helps to make our health go up. See, 
right here. I didn't know they had to be in a good patch of pan sand. And after I fuck it up right here, I'll try and let it jump on me in the grass. And that happens. Like, it, it, it has to be in the sand, and I didn't know that. That was me realizing and testing it out a second time. I was like, why didn't it do it? And all that. But on the start one, we get him straight in the sand. He's back to stuck, and we crush him. Leaving us with one left. And that sunflower looking better. Lift you on out of here. Oh yeah, right here we I tried to um get him to break this box open. Wasn't his job. Not in the slightest. I think I messed this up like once or twice. Yep, that's the first one. He does it again. I didn't even notice that when I was playing, but I was I glitched through his body. That makes a lot more sense on why I missed. Instead of being over him, I was kind of like in the middle of his body. Like, there was just no collision there. And it just made me clip straight through. I didn't realize that when I was playing through. But it does make a lot more sense though. Don't turn this down because I feel like it's loud and I don't want the mic to catch that. I have no idea how good this mic is. Like, I have some idea, but I don't know how much it catches. Yeah, it's not catching on that. Good to know. I don't know if it was catching it when it was turned up. There was a couple moments it looked like it was peaking. I don't know if that was because I was following the juice or not, but I don't I think it's all good. But you know what I'm saying? We get on the chase with Shadow Mario here. And I think we had three chases in this video. Because for some reason they make us chase this man three different times in a row. Like... And they're all back to back to back. Like, I chase him here, go into a place, come back out, and we're here again. Like, we're doing the same routine and all. It's crazy because I know I need only one more hit and I get him. Clapped him and he went down. You know what I'm saying? We had got the Yoshi unlocked. So we went to go and get the fruits for him. And I struggled to grab a fruit. But there we go. We got the fruits. We pushed the fruits through this crazily hot place. Because you can honestly see the waves in the air. Symbolizing how hot it is. Bro, I never thought about it, but if it's this hot year long, year round, like, I I don't know how these people could live here. I guess it'd kind of be like living on Hawaii. Does, does Hawaii get cold? I'm gonna assume no. I'm gonna assume though, I don't know any facts about Hawaii. Like, it's one of the, one of the few things I'm completely out of the know. Oh, we had the little mini boss right here. Well, my point still stands. I don't know how people could stay in a place this hot. Cause it's like you travel to the other place and they're just as hot. But all year round is crazy like. 
I don't think I can do that. Like, I like to play basketball. I like to be hooping. So, if it's this hot when I'm trying to hoop, I sweat a lot. Doubling the heat does not help that. Jump on your hip. My other pants, we're in the locker, now the hotel's gone. Imagine stuffing something in your locker and being like, yeah, I'll come back for that tomorrow, I'll be fine. And you come to work the next day and the hotel's gone. And instead of the day off, your boss says, hey, go and clean this up because it's on the property. Not even knowing how dangerous this stuff is or what it really is. He just tells you to go and clean it. He tells the go and clean He tells both of you. You two just both have electricity resistance? Like, you have resistance to electricity? You can't get, like, electrocuted? Because he was just standing in that. That is kind of wild to me. Are they yelling at the manager? If so, why? What is he supposed to do about it? Never mind, I know what I'm yelling at. No, it's not his fault, but the hotel is gone and their stuff is probably gone with it. I didn't even peep that when I was playing. Seems I miss a lot more when I'm playing. And when I sit here and actually just watch, it's, it's different, you know? Like, you got time to, you got the, you got that examination factor, you know? You get to look at everything, but Mario, Mario Sunshine isn't a game where you really need to look at everything. That's why I don't. But I've noticed that these traits of not looking at everything goes around in all my games. And I'm fairly sure it comes from not from playing games like Mario Sunshine or Sonic where I don't have to look at everything. That makes me not look at everything in my other games. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I need to get back to looking around at things more when I, not just when I'm watching but when I'm playing too I'm realizing that now hard you rescued me many things bro. blue coin bro this blue coin stuff is kind of some bull cause you have to get all the shine sprites you know so you can do the island oh it's just Damn. Damn. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. Um, you have to get all the shine sprites. And then there's a guy just sitting behind the count the counter. Just I could give you the shine sprites, but I'd rather you go and collect these blue coins and give them to me. Like bro's making a whole investment. Just so he can get some coins. I'm not saying he's not. I'm not saying that he's not getting his bag right. I'm saying he's an asshole because I'd like to not be on probation anymore. Truthfully, if I had the choice, I'd just fold the man. Take all the stars off him. You've got the staff cleaning stuff. They don't even know what it is. It's not even, it's not even working what they were doing. Because one of them was standing in that electric goop. mini boss I play a little bit around in confusion I'm not gonna lie I shoot it and I get scared and run I think it's huge I didn't have the time to look at it because I was over there contemplating strategy when I fought it Like, I saw that it was big as shit when it was in its, uh, little cutscene, but when you sit back and look at that bitch, that bitch is big as shit, like, big ass shadow stingray. And that's where it popped. Damn. 
the knockback is crazy. We got him to split the little ones. God damn. This mission can actually get really bad. It's a miracle I beat it on the first try, I'm not gonna lie. I think I need to stop running around trying to fight it, and I need to go and get some coins. Oh, God. Yeah, that's that wake-up call. That was the wake-up call. That was where I, I went and said, go and get coins. You're about to die. Even if that wasn't my last thing, I think that would have been the wake-up call, because that thing smacked the shit out of me. And then they all started to surround me. For those of y'all who did play Sunshine, if if this boss was hard to you, please tell me. Like, tell me was this easy? Was it hard to you? Did you die a lot? Did you struggle? Like, I'd like to know. And tell me what tactics you use too. I'd like to know. I like I I know the Mario Sunshine has a lot of boss fight tactics and all that stuff. Like. I know this one you probably could have sat on a tree for a while. It would have taken a long ass time, but you could have sat on a tree and just zoned them off. Well, I'm not exactly sure because I don't know. I don't know their extent. Oh, no, no, you could not sit on a tree. That one just went up the tree. That's where I was sitting here <laughs> yelling at them. Like, stop fucking running from me. Do they all ran? Like, they literally ran to the edge of the map. It took a lot of time to catch them all. Damn, I didn't even peep. It took a lot of time to catch them all. Just for me to come up here and see that they're not all completely small. Like, that is wild. Go ahead, catch up to it, catch up to it. We got him. There we go. Oh, God. When did you get so big? I, I thought there were only small ones left. I was close. Get him. Get him. There you go. Hold on. I'm starting to look like I got a little bit of skill with this. God damn. He just told me that I'm dividing into smaller parts like I didn't know that already or something. I suggest that you go and get some coins. There you go. There it is. Let's <sighs> not make this too difficult for ourselves. Let's even things out. God damn. I felt like I hit that thing like three times, but that was just me. Damn, that's a lot. Like, why is there so many? Bro, I told you, this shit took a minute. Like, I think this mission is going on like five, six minutes. Yeah, six minutes. About to be seven minutes. Because we got it here around 13 minutes. Damn.
Or no? Never mind, yeah, I can count. I'm not retarded. There we go. Caught another one. Now, I do know that if you get them all down and there's only one left, it can get difficult to find him. Because it's like, it's small as shit and it's moving around the bitch. And it's, not only is it moving around, it's avoiding you. God damn, god damn. Never looked at how much this is. It's a lot. Dang it. I'm gonna chase down. There it is. There it is. Got a good portion of them small. Now we just gotta finish them off. This is more time consuming than I remember it being. Like. They're turning pink. That means that your numbers are low. Finally. Damn. 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 Are y'all just coming to me? Like, I didn't peek that before, dude. They honestly just decided to screw it. If we can't beat them, that's one. Taking on hits again, as always. Last one. Whew. Took a minute. What we got there? We brought the hotel back, people. Yeah, I bet there's three floors. I do not remember being that much. You know what? It is three floors. That is a three floor. That's a three floor hotel. Three floor hotel with fence. Because I remember one of the missions you have to go through that. Wow. Flipped right over the star. Flipped just shorted the star. Ran off the pedestal. Flipped over the star again. Come grab the star. Thank you. I think this is the this is the time for our next Super Mario chase. I think it's a turbo nozzle. Yeah, I already knew where to go. I didn't even have to play. Oh wow. I felt played with that one. Damn! Come on. The man's been running for longest. Oh my god. There we go, getting hits off. That's what's needed. That man's been running for a minute, bro. Are 
Are you ever gonna stop running? God. Ah, finally. Wait a minute, if you could teleport and take items with you, and he could take items with him because he took that wand with him. If you could teleport and take items with you, why the hell didn't you just take this with you? Bit of a flaw there. Just a little bit. But you're not. I'm going I'm gonna let it slide for the fact that I love this game. Bang! Easy shine sprite. Back to, I told y'all, back to back to back, they just dropped these, uh, chases. But Nardo, that's a bit of a plot hole. If he can teleport with items with him. Why, why would he need to play this chasing game? Unless the chasing game is purely for him and he just wants to have fun. Because him saying he was going to have the turbo nozzle doesn't even make sense. Because... You didn't even get the machines. So yeah, I think he just does this chase just to do this chase. Because it's like, the more I think about it, the more it only makes sense for him to just do the chase just to do the chase. Because... What is he gonna do with the turbo nozzle? Wow. Flip. Yeah, at this point, I was realizing how hard it is to play this game without the, um, Without the hover nozzle. And how hard it is to do these chases without the hover nozzle. Like. Over there in the corner, man. Come on. Come on. There you go. He's off in the cut. Like he was before. Did I not know where they went? Oh, I actually didn't know where he went. I was like, why did he stop? And then I realized he didn't know. Oh, my God. It gets bad without the hover nozzle. When you don't have the hover nozzle, you can't just float over the shit. All right. There you go. All right. And I wouldn't fuck around with a couple other things. But honestly, this is the end of the video. There wasn't really anything else that I did. I just kind of fucked around with the hover nozzle, with the uh, rocket nozzle for a while. Got up by the big star. And then I ended the video. You know what I'm saying? Another reaction down. Another. Another, another video fix, cause you know, I messed up with my mic and shit. But it's all good, cause it gave me a reason to use my new mic earlier, and it gave me a reason to enjoy myself watching this video. You know what I'm saying? Have like conversations. If y'all have any uh, objections to some of the stuff I said about, um. Shadow Mario and shit, like, go ahead, put it down in the comments. If you have anything you want to add to something you heard me say, go ahead, put it down in the comments, you know what I'm saying? We'll have a conversation, that's all that. And with that being said, gentlemen, the best gamer, see you.
in the next one. Peace.